When the 600-ton airborne giant Y-40 transporter goes from thesis to reality, will the ambition of China's aviation industry really break through the double test of physical law and strategic logic? In April 2025, an old paper published in automation of military industry suddenly exploded on the internet, and the aerodynamic data of the 600-ton transport aircraft in the paper was interpreted by netizens as hard evidence that China was developing the Y-40 super-large transport aircraft. This news quickly triggered a hot debate. If the Y-40 is really as huge as envisioned, its maximum takeoff weight will reach 660 tons, surpassing the destroyed in 225 transport aircraft, becoming a new air beast in the history of human aviation. However, behind this technological revelry, there is also a surge of skepticism, from airport carrying capacity to operational effectiveness, from maintenance costs to strategic risks, what is the feasibility of the Y-40? According to several reports, the design parameters of Y-40 are subversive, maximum takeoff weight of 650 tons, cargo hold length of 60 meters, double-deck cargo hold can accommodate 4599 main battle tanks or 11 type 19-wheeled infantry vehicles, maximum load of 180 tons, which is three times that of Y-20. The power system adopts four domestic CJ-2000 turbofan engines. With a single thrust of 35 tons and a total thrust of 140 tons, and a range of more than 5,000 kilometers when fully loaded with 200 tons and up to 10,000 kilometers when lightly loaded. More notable is its modular design, can be quickly converted into early warning aircraft, unmanned aircraft mothership and even air-based ballistic missile platform, known as the air transformer. Another highlight of the Y-40 is the innovation in materials and manufacturing process. The fuselage is made of 50% aluminum magnesium lithium silicon alloy, 30% composite materials and 10% titanium alloy, taking into account both lightweight and high strength. The breakthrough of the world's first 3D printed landing gear is a solution to the core problem of ultra-large transport aircraft. Traditional landing gear manufacturing needs to consume 90% of the material and 3D printing technology will not only increase the material utilization rate to 90%, but also make the fatigue life of fogings more than the international level. And the cost of a single piece is only 5% of the traditional process. Wu and Tianyu Intelligent Manufacturing Company developed landing gear through the 73-ton extreme load test, laying the foundation for China to break through this neck technology. Despite the impressive technical parameters, the Y-40's practicality still faces multiple challenges. The first and foremost is the carrying capacity of airports. The Y-40 is 20 tons heavier than the N-225, which means it will have to meet even more stringent requirements for runway strength, length and ground support. For example, the N-225 can only land at Shijiazhuang's ending airport when it comes to China, while the Y-40's ability to deploy globally will be severely limited by the conditions of the target country's airports. There are only a hundred or so Class 4F airports in the world, and most of them are concentrated in Europe and the United States, which is in contradiction with the infrastructure level of the countries along the One Belt, One Road. The level of infrastructure in the countries along the Belt and Road, to form a contradiction, the military risk is also not negligible. Y-40, which relies on a few high-specification airports, will easily become the bullseye of the enemy's precision strikes in wartime. The destruction of the N-225 in the Russian-Ukrainian conflict has warned that centralized delivery nodes are extremely vulnerable in modern warfare. In contrast, 200-400 tons transport aircraft can rely on more second-line airport scattered deployment, survivability and flexibility significantly improved. In addition, the Y-40's maintenance efficiency is at a significant disadvantage. It takes days to overhaul after a single mission, while the Y-20 can be deployed again in just a few hours. In a battlefield or disaster relief scenario, where every second counts, the numerical advantage may be more effective than the single aircraft payload. Looking back at history, the N-225 was not created for conventional transportation, but was the exclusive vehicle for the Soviet Blizzard space shuttle and its transition to civilian use is a reluctant reuse of the Cold War legacy. If China were to follow this path, it would need to clarify the core positioning of the Y-40. Would it serve a specific space program, or would it pursue generalized strategic delivery? The former needs to be deeply tied to aerospace planning, while the latter needs to face up to the cost-effective advantage of a 400-ton transport aircraft. The experience of the U.S. 
C-5 and transport aircraft shows that the 400-ton platform has been able to realize transcontinental non-landing delivery and is more adaptable to airports. For example, the C-5M can take off and land at more than 2,700 airports around the world, while the Y-40 may be applicable to less than 1% of those airports. By focusing on a 400-ton model, China can fill the capability gap between the Y-20 and the 600-ton class while avoiding the inherent shortcomings of a very large platform. The Y-40's development is not a purely military project, and its technology spillover effect could reshape the global aviation industry chain. 3D printing of landing gear technology has been expanded to the manufacture of other military and civil aviation components, and a derivative of the CJ-2000 engine is now being used in the C-929 airliner, pushing the country's large planes to break through the bottleneck of the Heart. In the civil field, Y-40 can transport a whole hydroelectric power plant rotor or three high-speed rail carriages, the cost of which is 60% lower than that of shipping, or become the core carrier of the One Belt, One Road mega logistics. However, the success of the civil market depends on cost control and operation network, and the Y-40's estimated cost of $1.5 billion, which is twice that of the C-5M may limit the scale of commercialization due to its high cost. In addition, there is limited global demand for ultra-large cargo transportation, with 2023 data showing the N-124 averaging fewer than 50 missions per year and sitting idle most of the time. If the Y-40 fails to find stable civilian demand, its economics will be questioned. The Y-40 controversy is essentially a game of technical idealism and strategic pragmatism, it is undeniable that the success of its development will mark the shift of China's aviation industry from following to leading and even give rise to a new type of operational concept. However, aviation history has repeatedly proved the pure pursuit of parameter breakthroughs and ignore the system adaptability of the equipment, often reduced to a flashy technology vase. For China, a more realistic path may be in the continuing to promote the development of 400-ton transport aircraft at the same time. The Y-40's cutting-edge technology to feed the existing platform through the modularization of upgrades to the Y-20 family transformation. For example, replacing the Y-20 with a CJ-2000 engine can raise its load to 80 tons and increase its range by 40% while maintaining a high turnout rate. This, small steps, Fast-running strategy not only can steadily improve the strategic delivery capacity, but also to avoid the risk of all the work in a single battle. The 600-ton Y-40 is a great power or a technological utopia, and the answer may be hidden in the details. When the 3D-printed landing gear passes the 73-ton extreme load test, China has proved its strength in breaking through the technological shackles. However, when the paper data but when the thesis data meets the physical law of the airport runway, strategic rationality still needs to be the final yardstick for decision-making.